This is Total Outdoor Programming. Hey, what's up? This is Marty from Total Outdoor Programming. We are on the rocky coast of Maine, coming up here, delivering a few mounts to a customer. Beautiful fishing village. This is Bar Harbor, Maine. We thought what better to do than to get some fresh seafood and bring you guys some cool recipes. This is one of the seafood capitals of the world. Well, we're back from New England, and I'm gonna put together a little four-part mini-series. This is my souvenir from New England. I couldn't afford to go out and catch any of the things there, so instead I just went to the store and bought it. Now that we're back, I'm gonna make a few recipes. This is all New England-style food, so I hope you like this series. You know, one of the great highlights to do when you go out to New England is to go haddock fishing deep sea fishing, 180 feet of water, cranking them up from the depths. I didn't go haddock fishing, it was too expensive. Instead I bought some haddock and we're going to do a recipe called New England Fish and Chips. So we stopped at Augusta Seafood in Augusta, Maine and picked up some fresh caught seafood. Great, just about as fresh as you can get it coming right off the coast there. The owner, Jeff, helped us out and he was really great to work with, got it all packed up nice so we could get it home safely. They can also deliver fresh seafood and ship it straight to you. So check it out, Augusta Seafood in Augusta, Maine. Great place. First, take a couple potatoes and slice those into french fries. Now you wanna soak those for about 30 minutes. While that's soaking, we'll go ahead and add a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of ground pepper, teaspoon of salt and mix that together. Now we'll add one egg that's been beaten, a cup of milk, and mix that together. You want it to turn into a nice creamy consistency. This is going to be your batter. Now let's test the oil with one fry. You want it to bubble really quickly. We're not gonna cook these all the way through, we're just gonna let them cook for about four minutes and go ahead and bring them out to drain. You just want them to be partially cooked right now. Now we'll take a fresh haddock, we're gonna dip it in the batter and let the majority of it run off. You don't want a bunch of batter on these. Go ahead and gently place that into the oil and cook it up. As they start to brown, you can go ahead and remove them. Once you get to the last three or four minutes, put your fries back in until they're golden brown and you're all set. Well, hopefully you like these recipes. Couldn't afford to go out and catch these things, so I just went ahead and bought it. If you have a different recipe variation that you would suggest, feel free to leave it in the lines below. And as always, keep subscribing and we'll keep more videos coming for you. You know, one of the highlights of going to New England is going to Dunkin' Donuts. They're on every street corner and I can afford it. I didn't... Chickens! Settle down, chickens. Settle down. Don't talk back. <laughs>